hi beauties welcome back to my channel and today this video is going to be on um, my new Kaior products as you beauties know over the years I have collected just a few of her um, lipsticks I absolutely love the colors love the payoff that you get with the colors and for the price it's not that bad I really love the glit sticks as well However, um, I've only purchased one of those because I just kind of figured out I could just put regular glitter on top of my lipstick and kind of get the same effect. So, um, not to say anything bad about her glit sticks. They're wonderful. They're gorgeous. Love it. But I just have only purchased one. So, before I show you my new purchase from them, I'm going to show you a few of my old purchases. And one of them I can't find. I have a nude um, by her and well from her line and i don't know where it is so it's probably somewhere in some handbags just chilling but i'm gonna show you the ones that i have then i'll show you what i ordered um a few weeks ago okay so i know for a fact that my very first kaior uh lipstick was golden goddess and this is what it looks like and i'm going to swatch it on So this is how it appears on my skin. As you can see, it's like a very, very, like extremely bold gold. And these lipsticks are like smooth. They're not drying out. Because sometimes lipsticks that have like a lot of pigment in them, they'll like dry out your lips. These don't at all. And they really stain the lips. So, you know, as you're drinking or eating or something like that, it just doesn't rub off so easily. Like really, you have to kind of scrub them off at night and then you could still wake up in the morning with like gold lips or pink tinted lips or whatever and this is golden goddess the next one that i got from her is mistress and this is a pink one and i will watch it out so that is mistress i love the way this color looks on me it's a very like nighttime look or if you like going to like a day party or something like that it's definitely not an everyday pink but it is just absolutely gorgeous and what came along with that this is when I got the glit stick so this is the glitter and it comes with the applicator as well that you take and you just pat on top of the lipstick and um it's just it's beautiful so yeah you get um a lot of glitter because well, you get the small tube, but it's a lot of glitter packed in here, and it should last you a very, very long time. And what I like about the glitter, like when you put it on, it doesn't really fall off. Like, you're just not going to have glitter everywhere. I'm not going to say that it doesn't fall off at all, but you just want to have like a whole bunch of glitter everywhere, getting all over everything. This is Mistress. Okay, after that one, I had purchased the new one, and I don't know where it is. But um, I also got Excitement. And this is for my beauties who like to be different. Like, how gorgeous is that mint color? That is, like, phenomenal. So this is, like, your beach color. Um, I don't know, outside at a picnic or something. I don't know. But it's just basically, like, to me, there needs to be an occasion to wear this. Um, but it's gorgeous. Just that is, like, the most beautiful mint color I've ever seen. And, again, just, like, the rest of them glass on smoothly really does stain the lips this is excitement okay so my newest lipstick is of course another pink and this one is called truly outrageous so it's very similar to mistress as you can see you can barely see the difference between the two but again this one is truly outrageous and the other one is mistress now what the difference is really Hmm. Uh, I want to say truly outrageous. This last one here has more of like a neon tone to it. So um, it's probably, it might be really similar to the neon, the Trina Rockstar one. Because that's supposed to be like a neon pink color. And I haven't tried that. That one is a limited edition and I don't think I'm going to be able to get it before they stop making it. This is truly outrageous. 
Okay, so just want to show you my box. This is what the box looks like and um, has a picture of her and I think that might be Trina and somebody else rocking um, a few of the lipsticks. And a little pamphlet showing off more products, more colors, the lashes. Now, one thing that I love about Kaor or Keisha Kaor, Keisha, whatever her name is. <laughs> is I love her lashes. She has this one particular style that I really, really love. And as I looked on like the website, I didn't see like where she kind of hinted around to one that she wears the most because these particular lashes, what it looks like when I like look on her Instagram and stuff, it's like she always has on these lashes. Well, the majority of the time, um, but I don't know what those lashes are. So. I decided to just pick one just to try them out. Um, they're $8.99, so they're pretty pricey um, compared to like a lot of other sites that sell lashes. Still cheaper than MAC. So it came wrapped up in this here paper. And then it looks like this. Kaor Lashes. And it says 100% Human Hair Lashes. You open it up, there's a message on top. It says, hi dolls, thank you for purchasing our fabulous KOR lashes. I knew you guys would look dolled up and glamorous whether you wear them day or night. Enjoy, Keisha KOR. Okay, so these are the lashes. They kind of look like bottom lashes to me. But this was the style that I was looking for. Like what I said, I see her wearing often. Then just the way they look, they just kind of look like bottom lashes. I don't know, maybe I could flip them up and wear them the other way. But they're number 220. And I will let you beauties know how they work out for me. And these are the Kaor. 220 lashes so thank you for watching if you haven't already subscribed to my channel subscribe make sure you follow me on instagram make sure you follow me on my facebook page which is the a plus show and thank you for watching